So today we're going to be checking out the Nexon uh, MTX tire. I have it on my 2018 Wrangler and I'm going to be talking about why I like the tire so much and how it performs because this is a real world review. I've had a chance to take these on the rocks, the mud, and now the snow. And I must say I'm really impressed by this tire and how it performs. I'm going to be talking about the pros and I'm going to be talking about the cons today. Um, it's like with every other mud tire. First thing I want to point out with this tire, you have a double sidewall. You have two different sidewalls. So you can pick what sidewall you want. You have a more traditional sidewall back here with the blocks and the lugs. And then you have like a, they call it the beast sidewall. It has like teeth or claws or whatever. And I thought this looked pretty cool. So I went ahead and used this side. Um, this matters because this will help rock rash on your sidewall and all that stuff. And they even put like skilling in the lettering of the tire also which i thought was a pretty cool touch because nexon came late in the game when it came to off-road tires and they really had to step it up make a difference in the tire because they didn't want to make it look like any other tire out there and which they did a really good job of setting their own tire apart from everybody else because everybody knows i run federal tires and i love those tires but i think i found my new tire the federal tires really don't have the gaps like these tires do when it comes to the tread design i mean these are super gapped and the federals are kind of gapped on the outside but on the insides when they get smaller and that's what i like about this tire that it it has really big lugs and that's what set this sets this tire apart from other mud tires it has really big lugs the spacing is unreal even in the middle really nice lugs on this thing um, I got a few thousand miles on them not easy on them and it does have siphoning which a lot of cheaper tires do not have like the federal and this helps also in the snow and these go really good um, for how much you pay for them they're definitely worth it they have nice mud injectors rock injectors in here I mean this tire overall is tough um, they ride good and it's actually a really nice looking tire honestly so let's talk about the pros and cons of this tire i really got to use these tires even though the video doesn't do the hill climb and stuff we did justice um i really got to use the tire and really experience what these tires can really do and i even climbed a coal pile um it, when it's straight up and it's muddy when you start up it and the jeep just performed a lot better because like i said i was running the federals before like i'm running on the cherokee and they would dig but sometimes it would just slide around and, and it was hard to climb sometimes and that's the god's honest truth that's i'm not saying this just because i got a new set of tires this is real world review i didn't get sponsored by them like everybody else on youtube did um i bought these tires with my own cash so these tires dug right in climbed right up the hill spun a little bit and it climbed all the way to the top and then we get to the coal pile on the top and then you have to go out this trail and it's a muddy mess and they just dug they they just dug and they kept going and it slung the mud out where the lugs are so far apart um, it didn't have a problem cleaning out and i didn't have a lot of wheel speed so i was very impressed with that climbed over rocks we got caught in the snowstorm up there and the roads were horrible uh, the back roads were horrible ice snow these tires performed really really well but for a mud tire the on-road manners are actually pretty decent and honestly when you air them down they don't look like they're going to rip like some cheap mud tires do these look very heavy duty and looks like they could take a beating um they ride very comfortably. I don't know if that's because I run less pressure than everybody else. I run uh, 28 pounds in my Wrangler um, because I have a tuner and I can turn the lights out and all that stuff. But it performed very, very well in the mud. This is where this tire shines. In the mud, this thing 
is unreal. It grips, for a mud tire of this form, it grips really well and it gets the mud out of the way and it gets you going. Now the snow, it does very, very well. Um, it performed a lot better than most cheap mud tires that I've actually used. Um, climbing over rocks, when you're aired down, they do very, very well. I was very impressed. Um, the wet roads, a lot of mud tires after you run them for a while, they will begin to spin around a turn. My federal tires are actually bad about that. Um, when you go around a turn and you gun it, they will kind of you know break traction a little bit, which you expect that from a mud tire. They're not made to be on the road. That's the thing with the Nexon. They wanted to make an all-round tire, but they wanted to shine when it was off-road. And this is why I'm starting to like this tire so much. So when it came to it raining, it did a very good job. Now here is the cons of this tire. Um, I know a lot of videos and even on their website say this, they got the tread pattern in a certain way so it's quiet. Well, I have to disagree because the more I run these tires and especially on the highway, um, it's super loud. They, they howl pretty good. And I'm not complaining because I run mud tires and it doesn't bother me, but that does bother some people. Um, but they are super loud on the highway. I've actually had other mud tires, cheaper mud tires that were a lot quieter than these tires. But overall with the performance that I get out of this tire compared to the mud claws that I've run and the Federals, because the Federals and mud claws is basically all I've run all my whole, you know, my whole YouTube career or Jeep uh, hobby that I've done. It was either Federals or mud claws. I've always run those tires and I wanted to branch out and try these next in tires. And uh, the performance I get out of them, yeah, I will take a loud howling tire. Um, a lot of people like, why didn't you go with the, the Panagonians or whatever they call them? Honestly, those are great in Utah. Those are great over there rock crawling. But here in West Virginia, I've seen them perform and they're not that good off-road and they kind of screw you more than anything. So that's why I didn't go with those. That's why I went with the MTX. So I just wanted to do a short little review on this because a lot of people ask questions about the tire, what it looks like, where it's from, how they perform. And I'll have this video to go back to. And there's not a lot of good reviews on YouTube um, explaining a real world review. Uh, because we don't just buy, honestly, let's break it down. What do we go off road? 20% then the rest is on road driving. Honestly, us Jeep people. Um, because we can't go off road every day of our life. You know, we got work, we got family. So we're looking for a tire that when we need it, it's going to perform. But when you're on the road, it's going to perform daily task and it's going to be a decent tire. And that's what this next tire is. Um, I'm very impressed with it. Um, the way the tire market is right now, they are a little high. But honestly, don't waste your time on uh, any other tires right now because I'm, I'm really big on these tires. If you had a set and you try a set, you would understand where I'm coming from. I'm really happy. I know I, I got other tire reviews on this channel and how happy I am with those tires. But that's the whole point of doing reviews and buying other things is something's going to be better than that uh, last review that I did. And they really are. Uh, I'm very impressed. Like I said, I'm not sponsored. I'm not talking them up trying to get sponsored or trying to, I don't get paid from none of this. I actually found a real world tire that does pretty much everything. Um, does it does does it do everything the best? No. Uh, I'm not going to say her in line and say it does. But does it do it better than most? Absolutely. So I'm really impressed with this tire. And I can't get enough of it. And I'll do an update with it. Follow me on my social medias. I got Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that. I'll update, update you on the mileage side of it. Because like I said, I only got a few thousand miles on this tire. Uh, when I first put them on, uh, took them off-road. And <laughs> just to see what they do. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.